Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about a topic that affects millions of people around the world, but is often considered too embarrassing to discuss openly hemorrhoids. Also known as piles, hemorrhoids are swollen veins in the lower rectum and anus, similar to varicose veins. They can be uncomfortable, painful, and even bleed but the good news is they are treatable and often preventable. So, in this video, we'll walk you through everything you need to know, what hemorrhoids are, their causes, symptoms, types, treatments, and some easy prevention tips. Let's begin. What are hemorrhoids? Hemorrhoids are swollen and inflamed veins located either inside the rectum or around the anus. They're very common, especially in adults aged 45 to 65, but they can affect people of all ages. Hemorrhoids occur when there's too much pressure on the veins around your rectum, causing them to swell. This can lead to discomfort, itching, bleeding and pain especially during bowel movements. There are two main types of hemorrhoids. One internal hemorrhoids these develop inside the rectum. They usually aren't visible and often don't hurt, but they can cause painless rectal bleeding. Two external hemorrhoids these form under the skin around the anus. They can be itchy, painful, and may bleed. Sometimes. A clot can form inside an external hemorrhoid this is called a thrombosed hemorrhoid, which can be especially painful. Though they can be unpleasant, hemorrhoids are rarely dangerous. Causes and Risk Factors So, what causes hemorrhoids? Hemorrhoids are usually caused by increased pressure in the lower rectum, which can be triggered by several factors, such as Straining during bowel movements This is one of the most common causes. Straining increases pressure in the rectal veins. Chronic constipation or diarrhea Both conditions can irritate or stress the rectal area. Sitting for long periods, especially on the toilet prolonged sitting can affect blood flow and pressure in the pelvic area. Pregnancy The increased weight of the uterus can put pressure on the veins, especially in the third trimester. Heavy lifting Regularly lifting heavy objects can contribute to the development of hemorrhoids. Low fiber diet A lack of fiber leads to hard stools and straining. Obesity Being overweight increases abdominal pressure and contributes to hemorrhoid formation. As we age. The tissues that support the veins in the rectum and anus can weaken, making hemorrhoids more likely to occur. Signs and Symptoms How do you know if you have hemorrhoids? Here are some common signs and symptoms to watch for. Bright red blood during bowel movements. Itching or irritation around the anus. Pain or discomfort, especially when sitting. Swelling or a lump near the anus. Leakage of feces in severe cases. A feeling of incomplete evacuation after a bowel movement. If you notice bleeding, it's essential to rule out other causes like colorectal cancer or polyps. Don't assume it's hemorrhoids without seeing a healthcare provider. Diagnosis. If you visit a doctor, how are hemorrhoids diagnosed? Diagnosis typically involves a physical examination. Your doctor may Perform a visual inspection of the anus. Use a gloved finger to feel inside the rectum, digital rectal exam. Use a small scope like an anoscope or proctoscope to view internal hemorrhoids. These procedures are quick and relatively painless and they help rule out other conditions like fissures, abscesses, or tumors. Treatment Options The good news is that most hemorrhoids can be treated at home or with simple medical procedures. 
Let's break down the treatment options. Home Remedies High-fiber diet eating more fruits, vegetables, and whole grains softens stool and reduces straining. Drink plenty of water staying hydrated helps keep bowel movements regular. Warm sits bath sitting in warm water for 10-15 minutes a few times a day can relieve discomfort. Topical creams and ointments over-the-counter products like hydrocortisone or witch hazel can reduce inflammation and itching. Cold compresses applying ice packs can ease pain and swelling. Medications Stool softeners or fiber supplements like psyllium husk can prevent straining. Pain relievers like acetaminophen or ibuprofen can help with discomfort. Medical procedures for more severe or persistent hemorrhoids, your doctor might recommend. Rubber band ligation A small rubber band is placed around the base of the hemorrhoid to cut off blood supply. Sclerotherapy A chemical solution is injected to shrink the hemorrhoid. Infrared coagulation Heat is used to shrink internal hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoidectomy Surgical removal, usually for very large or thrombosed hemorrhoids. Stapled hemorrhoid apexy is a surgical method for internal hemorrhoids that involves repositioning and cutting off their blood supply. Always follow your doctor's advice on the best treatment for your condition. Complications Although hemorrhoids are usually harmless, there can be complications if left untreated. Anemia due to chronic blood loss Thrombosis when a blood clot forms inside a hemorrhoid. Strangulated hemorrhoid when the blood supply to an internal hemorrhoid is cut off, causing extreme pain. Seek medical help if you have. Persistent bleeding. Severe pain. A hard lump near the anus. Signs of infection like fever or pus. Prompt treatment can prevent these complications. Prevention Tips Now let's talk about prevention the best way to avoid future flare UPS. Here are some simple, effective tips. Eat a fiber-rich diet Aim for 25 to 30 grams of fiber per day. Drink at least 8 glasses of water daily. Avoid straining during bowel movements. Don't delay going to the bathroom when you feel the urge. Exercise regularly to promote healthy digestion. Avoid sitting for long periods take short walks or stand occasionally. Use the toilet properly avoid reading or scrolling your phone for too long while sitting. These small changes can make a big difference. Final Thoughts Hemorrhoids are nothing to be ashamed of they're a very common health issue, and in most cases, they're easily treatable. If you're experiencing symptoms, don't suffer in silence. Talk to a health care provider, take care of your diet and hygiene, and follow prevention strategies. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell for more health tips and educational videos. Take care of your health, and we'll see you in the next video.